my dream of wigs and thank you so much for stopping in today for this review of Raquel Welch's brand new director's pick. I have it in SS Shaded Sand. Be sure and stick around until the end. I want to show you this beautiful color outdoors in the natural lighting. It's a nice day today. I've got some sunshine and I just want you all to see this color outside. This is a brand new color to me. So first I want to thank Tracy from TL Wigs for sending me this little beauty so that I could bring you this review. Thank you, Tracy. So when she told me that she was sending me this, she asked me what color I would like, and I said SS Wheat. So when it came, it's always a surprise from Tracy. So whenever it came, I was surprised whenever I pulled this color out of the box and saw it. It is just gorgeous. So everything that you need to know about getting this wig you saw at the beginning will be in my description box down below. So let's get started on this because there is a lot to go over on this and I don't want to spend a whole lot of time boring you. I have watched a lot of reviews on Director's Pick myself just because Everyone that I have seen looks a little bit different, and mine right here is out of the box. I have not done anything to this. Um, this is the way it came, and you can see it's just a cute little shoulder length. Well, it's just above of your shoulders, and it's got these waves and just beautifully blended colors together. I am loving the waves to it. I love that it, it it's not great big barrel curls and it's not real tight curls. So it's a great medium in between and it's just gorgeous. Let me go ahead and give you a spin all the way around so you can see this. So you can see the back just has those beautiful, like I said, little waves it just looks like a tasseled kind of look but this is such a luxurious guys i apologize in advance if i say that so many times this is just such luxury i don't believe i've ever had anything quite so luxurious in my life so this cap is their lux light cap and this style is one of four brand new styles that they just came out with they're all the same in this lux light cap so the the cap itself ugh, i'm getting tongue-tied the cap itself is almost 100 percent hand tied and when i say almost when i take it off and show you the cap features and everything i will go over that with you there is just at the nape in the back maybe a three inch part um where it is not hand tied and it is actually sewn in there and wefted but that is covered up with that uh, meshy material over the hand tied portion as well. So we'll get into that. So let's go over this color because I've never had it, this uh, shaded sand. So this is just a, a pretty basic description. It says it's a light blonde that is shaded with medium brown. And it, uh, oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. It reminds me so much of uh, Belle Tress's and I had the color right here, and just like that, there it went. Um, oh my goodness, I will think of it later, and, and I will bring it up again. But yeah, there. I mean, the styling options for this, I could do a whole nother video on just how to, you know, do some cute little styling with this. It's the perfect length. So let's go over the specs really quick. The bang part here in the front, is five inches so you can wear that down or you can sweep it off of the forehead as i had it the crown is ten and a quarter the nape underneath is six and three quarters overall from the crown to the tips this is 12 inches and it weighs 3.7 ounces it is so lightweight guys and comfortable oh my gosh 
Now they say that this is fitting a petite to an average, but I am going to tell you that this cap is very roomy. So if you are a large circumference, this is going to fit you like a dream because I actually am going to have to put those thin little um, Velcro adjusters in just a little bit more to get a little bit more snug to my head. And I am a 22 and a half inch circumference. So this is the uh, true to life heat friendly fiber. So if you don't you know, want the curls and you want to straighten it out some on the ends, you can do that. Or if you want to add more curl to it, you can also do that. So my next stop is going to be outside and then we will take a look at the inside of the cap. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. If you could, please hit that subscribe button. I try to put out new content every week. Sometimes I do giveaways. I've got a ton of wigs I'm going through trying to uh, debunk all of my clutter. So every now and then I will find one and I may do a video giveaway. So like I said, if you could hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. All right, let's take a look at the inside of the cap here to director's pick, this ultimate in luxury. So here is your extended lace front that goes ear tab to ear tab. You have this fully hand tied mono part. All of this here is hand tied. This cap is almost 100% hand tied. I will show you whenever I get back to the nape. So here you have your ear tabs with these nice, um, they say that they are removable. I'm gonna get in close so that you can see that, that silicone on the tabs. It is sewn on there, so in order to take that off, you're going to have to um, loosen up the stitching to get that off. Now that is on the nape as well. And what that is for is to give you a more secure fit if you like to use some tape or adhesive. Then we have our ultra thin Velcro closures. And right here at the very bottom, this is the only part of the cap that is wefted. Let me turn it over on the inside and give you a closer look at that. So here is that cap, hand tied 100% until you get down here to the bottom at the nape. And then you have about, let's see, Oh, maybe three inches or so where those wefts are. But other than that, it is a fully hand tied cap. All right, guys. So here I am uh, in some filtered natural light and you can see this beautiful color. Let me wait for this little uh, moped to go by. <laughs> but I will get us out in the uh, full sun as well but look how well just look at the dimension on this how pretty it is it is gorgeous yeah i am loving this color and guys these fibers are so so soft you're gonna love them all right here is in some full sun can see just how pretty and dimensional this color is and I think the Beltre the Beltress color that I was trying to think of inside may have been a uh, butterbeer blonde I'm not 100% sure but I think that this kind of reminds me of that Yeah, she's just pretty. And you can get, you know, a lot of volume on this just by using your hands and fluffing it up. You get some really cute ear tucks, too. So there my bang part is kind of down wanting to 
stay. Isn't she so pretty? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.